before prescribing we have to differentiate the fever clinically we should know the basic fever conditions before prescribing the remedy and clinical diagnosis is very much important that nowadays doctors are not, not doing in their clinic. Am I right? I mean, and doc doctors are afraid to, uh, uh, to diagnose. They don't never diagnose without reports. The basic clinical diagnosis that is required a lot in homeopathic practice or in general practice. I'm not talking about homeopathy specialist. Unke baad aise hi patient aate, those are already diagnosed. Even when you are practicing basic and patient come to you for fever, and you have to differentiate the types of fever. Kaisa differentiate karoge? What are the criteria you follow in your practice to differentiate the fever? Differentiate the conditions of fever. Anyone? Continuous fever, intermittent fever. Which which okay. type of fever? Yes, which type of fever? So, uh, how will you differentiate this one? Fever with rash or Yes. Fever with rash. What was that? Fever with rash or fever without rash to differentiate for clinical diagnosis. Okay. So what will be the output outcome with rash and without rash? We need to come to a clinical diagnosis. So, uh, if we differentiate in that way, we can come to a conclusion as to what disease the person is or the patient is suffering from. For example, if um, there is a fever with rash, then there is a different spectrum of disease like chicken pox, uh, dengue, or any kind of other viral fever. Okay. Then, anyone? Fever with chill or without chill. Fever with rigor. Okay. So how, how it is helpful to differentiate the things? With chills, without rigors, with rigors. With chills in uh, UTI. We seen in UTI. Yes. And uh, malaria. Yes. Anyone? See, when patient came to you with fever, what will be the criteria? Try out to find out the local cause first. So, kya pucho gaya? When Hani and we discussing before 30 minutes, when we just completed our uh, session, today's session, and I just asked her, what is your is issue in fever? She told me, we are not able to diagnose clinically. So guys, we are going to discuss that part. How to differentiate the fever? How to diagnose the fever? So when patient came to you first with fever, so what will be your question to the patient? What are the common questions you are going to ask? Okay, kuch khaya tha, kuch ghumne gaya the, okay. Then? Possibly, if you kuch khaya ho, hmm. so there may be causes typhoid ho sakta. Kuch khaya ho, to typhoid ho sakta. Okay. Onset duration progress, ODP. Okay. okay. From Ratsi, how many days of fever? Yes, kitne din se bukhar ha raha That is very much important. कितने दिन से बुखार आ रहा है बुखार कब कब आ रहा है ठंड लग कर आ रहा है या नहीं आ रहा है यस 
बुखार आते समय कैसा फील हो रहा है कुछ खाने का मन कर रहा है थ्रस्ट कैसी है उस टाइम पेशेंट की यस ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस ऑल इंफॉर्मेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड डेफिनेटली रिक्वायर्ड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फाइंड आउट द एलिमेंट इन फीवर दो दिन पहले कुछ खाया था दो दिन से बुखार आ रहा है तो या फिर सुबह पेरेंट्स आके बोलेंगे आपको कि अभी बाहर खेल रहा था और सडनली घर पे आया तो बुखार आ गया तो फाइंड आउट द एलिमेंट फाइंड आउट द कॉज ऑफ फीवर फॉर एग्जामिनेशन यू जस्ट फाइंड आउट द लोकल कॉज वॉट आर द कॉमन कॉजेज ऑफ फीवर विच आर द कॉमन सिस्टम इज अफेक्टिंग इन फीवर मोस्ट कॉमन इज रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम मोस्ट कॉमन इन फैक्ट इज पेशेंट कम टू यू दस में से सात पेशेंट इज सफरिंग फ्रॉम रेस्पिरेटरी फाइंड आउट द कॉज इन रेस्पिरेटरी चेक द थ्रॉट आस्क फॉर नेजल डिस्चार्ज आस्क फॉर कफिंग इफ पेशेंट इज डायरेक्टली टेलिंग यू अबाउट द थिंग्स वेल गुड अदरवाइज इफ पेशेंट इज नॉट टेलिंग यू सच थिंग्स पेशेंट आके बोलेगा सर बुखार है दैट्स इट नेट्रम यू पेशेंट है कुछ नहीं बोले आपको निकालना पड़ेगा लेकिन जिस पेशेंट आएगा ही विल रिवेल एवरीथिंग सर मैं कल दोपहर को गई थी तीन बजे ये खाया था साढ़े तीन बजे ये खाया था और उसके बाद घर पे आके मुझे इतने बजे बुखार इफ पेशेंट इज नॉट टेलिंग यू फाइंड ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट द कॉज इफ यू गेट द कॉज इफ यू गेट द एलिमेंट you can differentiate such remedies system wise for example patient come to you uh, fever kal subah se bukhar aa raha hai aaj subah se bukhar aa raha hai ask about respiratory thing gale mein dard hai naak mein se discharge hai coughing hai you just rule out the respiratory upper respiratory lower respiratory that's it if patient having pain in throat you just find out the cause in cases of fever when you get the cause that will be the easy way to treat the patient fever ke patient mein jab bhi aapko cause aur ailment nahi milta hai then it is quite difficult to treat patient aake bolega sir gal se bukhar aa raha hai gale mein kuch nahi hai naak mein kuch nahi hai no respiratory complaint now ask about gi complaint vomiting ho rahi hai upka ho raha hai pet mein dard hai diarrhea hai That's it. कुछ नहीं है आस्क अबाउट यू टी आई आस्क अबाउट यूरिनरी कंप्लेन आपको एक कॉज ढूंढना है फीवर आया है तो कॉज माइट बी देर आपको कहीं पे इंफ्लामेशन कहीं पे सिम्टम्स तो मिलेंगे ही इफ यू आर नॉट गेटिंग एनी लोकल सिम्टम विच क्रिएट फीवर देन थिंक ऑफ सेकेंड Dirty things. Then think of another things. Those are dengues. Those can be uh, meningitis. Those can be uh, other than viral. That can be uh, uh, that uh, malaria or even typhoid. But first, try to find out the local cause. If you are not getting any symptom from respiratory, if you are not getting any symptom from uh, urinary, if you are not getting any symptom from GI. आस पेशेंट कहीं पे घुमड़ा हुआ है कहीं पे बॉयल हुआ है इवन दैट बॉयल कैन क्रिएट फीवर कहीं पे पस फॉर्मेशन है आस कहीं पे गिर गए थे दैट कैन क्रिएट फीवर इवन मेंटल शॉक बच्चा है स्कूल में किसी ने डांट लिया गेट्स फीवर पापा ने कल रात को बहुत डांटा था रात को बुखार आ गया कोई बच्चे से झगड़ा हुआ है दूसरे दिन बुखार आ गया ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट द कॉज बिटवीन फोर ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स और फोर्टी एट आवर्स कुछ इवेंट तो हुई होगी कुछ चेंजेस आए होंगे ट्रिगरिंग फैक्टर टेक सम फूड दैट कैन ट्रिगर नीम ऑन ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट द कॉज element from if you get it you you can easily 
differentiate some remedies or you can make a group of remedies from there. Now you got the symptom of respiratory. Now, no need to think of GI complaints. Now focus on respiratory. Patient go nasal discharge are hai, patient go throat affection hai, or lower respiratory, coughing hai. Upper respiratory hai, medicine adhi ho jayegi, throat infection hai, focus on throat, lower respiratory hai, focus on lower respiratory. Bahut sari medicine divide ho jayegi. That will be the easy way to treat acute patients. Kal Imanji, Imanji is staying with me a whole day. She is at 10 baje, or she is remained till 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock. So she asked me, sir, 5 minutes of acute fever. When you get the ailment, when you got the cause, throat infection, that's it. Now no need to ask anything. No need to ask about uh, uh, urinary complaint. If you get the cause, you have throat mein redness in the throat. There is a typical viral throat infection. And this is the season of fever. That is why we decided to take session of fever. That will be helpful in your practice in nowadays. This is the typical season. Bacche bimar ho rahe. Without any goals. Since five days, we are seeing bachas having no ailment. No reason. Throat infection. Nahi hai. Nasal discharge. Nahi hai. No low respiratory complaint. Although the bachas is suffering from fever. Since five days, as a bachare. Now, we were with chills, with rigors. The common conditions. We were with chills. Consequence condition. UTI. That is rigor. Yes. Then. Malaria. Malaria. Malaria, meningitis. Malaria, meningitis. Guys, nowadays, patients are coming, coming with us with fever with chills in common viral also. Even fever with chills is common in dengue. So how will you differentiate clinically? When we are talking about chills, so fever with chills may respiratory or that viral fever is very common. Tangue is very common. Lakin, UTI, uh, meningitis and in malaria, patient come with rigors, not simple chills. Aapko urinary frequency ke symptom mil rahe, aapko urination burning ke symptom mil rahe, then that is the thing, that is the UTI. और उसमें चीज नहीं होगी उसमें राइगर्स हो गए पेशेंट बोलेगा कि मुझे बुखार भी नहीं आ रहा है मुझे त्रुजारी हो रही दैट इज द राइगर्स सिंपल चीज नहीं होगी ठंडी नहीं लगेगी इफ वेदर इज चेंजिंग एटमॉस्फेयर चेंज हो रहा है तो चिल हो सकता है दैट इज कॉमन इन एवरी फीवर वायरल फीवर में भी फीवर विद चिल्स होगा डेंगू और चिकनगुनिया में भी फीवर विद चिल्स होगा if you get the rigors, then think of malaria. Never forget about meningitis and UTI. These are the three things with rigors. With chills, common respiratory complaint, common viral fever, flu. Even we can think of chikungunya along with joint pain. We can think of dengue in initial stage. Even in cases of dengue, guys, when patient come to you in initial two or three days, you will not get any local symptom of fever. Patient aage bolega, sir, mujhe bukhar aa raha hai, aur uske saath sir dard ho raha hai. That's it. You will not get a respiratory symptom. You will not get uh, any GI symptom. You will not get any local uh, UTI symptom. In those cases, think of dengue in initial two to three days. 
fever with chills and headache without any local cause. If you get local case, that must be not dengue. Thought pain ke saath patient a raha hai, to dengue most probably nahi ho. Most probably. I'm not telling you not in every case. We are talking about clinical diagnosis. These are the possibilities. Throat pain hai, throat affection hai. Most probably chances of viral fever. Now dengue. How will you differentiate dengue in your clinical practice? Kaise hota hai dengue ka? Clinical picture. I'm not going to discuss that ye kam hua, ye kam kaise hua, that pathological part. Let's talk about clinical things only. Kaise hoga dengue ka appearance? First day, second day, third day, fourth day, five day, seventh day. I see. How? Rainy Initially season is the will come up. Uh, yes. Bolo, bolo. Initially, the patient will come up with fever. Yeah. Or uh, headache hoga. Or specifically, he will say that retroorbital pain is. Yeah. Aakke piche se headache ho raha hai. Yes. That is in the initial first few days. And then later on, the rash appears. Sometimes it may appear in some patients. In some, in the, it doesn't. So it will leave behind fat chill. Uh, echimosis kind of thing on the body. Wo kaun se din pe severe hai? itching. Around the 5th to 7th. Yes. So, pehle to hume wo 5 din nikal le. Chauthe ya 5 din ke baad kyun aate hai rashes? Petechial hemorrhages kyun hote in dengue? Low platelet count. Haan. To wo kaun se din pe kam hote hai platelet count? That begins after 4th or 5th day. That begins after third or fourth day. So when patient came to me initial in two days, kal subay bukhar aaya aur raat ko aapke paas aaya. How will you differentiate? I'm not talking about reports. Reports ke baad hum aate hai. Reports mein pakka aayenge. That is also a helpful tool that you all know. Kaise kaise reports karwane hai. Patient ke paise kaise Spend करने I'm not talking waste to spend करने लेकिन गरीब patient आया he is not willing to go for reports then how will you diagnose it yes Zoebia fever with chills होगा and as you told कि frontal headache होगा orbital pain होगा that is also common in uh, malaria which is also seen in dengue fever Initial two days, mein, patient will come to you with fever with chills only without any local cause. When you don't get any local cause, think of dengue in initial two days. And ask about the patient. He, within one week or within 15 days, did you visit any place near to water? Matlab, wo aap koi talao ke nazdik gahe the, aap kahin pe uh, jungle mein gaye the, trekking mein gaye the, anything. If patient any history of traveling in such place, that might be the cause. Incubation period kitna hota hai dengue ka? 7 to 14 days. 7 to 14 days. Yeah, that is 7 to 14 days. When you are asking the patient, puchho ki 7 din ya 15 din ke andar, aapne traveling kahi pe kiya tha? Mashi area, wo, jungle mein ya kahi pe bhi. Anyway, if any history of such thing, always think of dengue or malaria. These are the very small, small questions, but that will help you to rule out the cause. Now, do din ke baad kya hota hai? Dengue mein. Yajrasri, body pain, nausea, eye pain, five days of fever. High physic fever sometimes okay. After two days, what symptoms are there? Severe body ache. Okay, that is also seen on first, second days. Okay. Body ache is also present in dengue. Yes, even joint pain, Neelam. More joint pain is prominent in 
चिकनगुनिया लेकिन देर इज ऑल्सो सीन इन डेंग्यू पेशेंट बोलेगा कि शरीर टूट रहा है शरीर में अंदर से बोन में दर्द हो रहा है दीज आर द एक्सप्लेनेशन फ्रॉम द पेशेंट सांदे दर्द कर रहे हैं हाउ टू डिफ्रेंशिएट चिकनगुनिया फ्रॉम डेंग्यू वेन यू एग्जामिन द पेशेंट ऑफ चिकनगुनिया patient will will not allow you to touch the joint even that much intense pain is there in deng, in chikungunya patient chal ke aata hai uske upar se hi pata chal jata hai ki that is the chikungunya patient aise dolte dolte aayega which remedy drunkard like walk remnas california yes drunkard like walk walk with acute rheumatic pain That is Ramanus California. This is the specific remedy for chikungunya. The specific, more specific than Eupatorium P. Now, for two days, fever with chills and headache. Uske baad. जब भी प्लेटलेट्स आर गोइंग टू डाउन ऑन थर्ड डे और सेकंड डे और फोर्थ डे दैट कैन बी वरी फ्रॉम पेशेंट टू पेशेंट पेशेंट हैविंग सिम्टम ऑफ नोजिएटिव फीलिंग पेशेंट बोलेगा सर उप के आ रहे हैं आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट वॉमिटिंग उप के नोजिएटिव फीलिंग इज मोर प्रोमिनेंट ऑन सेकंड एंड थर्ड डे क्यों होता है नोजिएटिव फीलिंग When platelets are going to down, capillaries में से patient having उजेमा uh, from the capillaries और intra abdominal uh, जो uh, water accumulation होता है that is going to increase. Not exactly ascites before the previous stage of ascites. Not in every case of dengue patient having ascites. In that is the initial state that every patient feels. Pet me bhari pansa lagta hai, heaviness lagta hai, or along with that nauseative feeling. Hoti. That is the key of dengue fever on second and third day of fever. Now I will tell you that typhoid wale patient me bhi. फीलिंग और वॉमिटिंग होती है यस yes. उसमें भी नोजिएटिव फीलिंग होती है लेकिन दैट केम फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट डे पेशेंट गैस्ट्रिक कंप्लेन लेके ही आएगा क्लिनिक पे सर दो दिन से उल्टी हो रही है और बुखार आ रहा है हाई ग्रेड फीवर वन जीरो थ्री वन जीरो फोर वन नॉट टू वन नॉट थ्री हाई ग्रेड बुखार एंड क्या आपने पढ़ा था वो थियरी में रेडी कार्ड या होता है राइट गाइस क्या होता है क्या होता है राइजिंग फीवर इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द हां वो व्हाट 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 इज द टर्म फॉर दैट इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द या वो व्हाट इज द टर्म फॉर दैट दैट इज रिलेटिव रेडी कार्ड या तो हम जब भी पढ़ते थे इन मेडिसिन तो वी हैव दैट माइंड कि फीवर के साथ पल्स कम होंगे नॉट लाइक दैट फीवर के साथ पल्स बढ़ेंगे लेकिन नॉट दैट मच राइज दैट इज रिलेटिव रेडिकार एंड टाइफॉइड में वोमिटिंग इज परसिस्टेंट पेशेंट को एब्डोमिनल टेंडरनेस होगी डेंग्यू के अंदर पेशेंट को एब्डोमिनल हैवीनेस होगी When you examine the abdomen, you will not get tenderness anywhere. Patient is going to tell you, sir, very pain like that. Heaviness is there. And as Honey told you, that patient ne outside food khane ki koi history milegi ya. Especially typhoid. UTI, you know, urine ki frequency hogi. यूरिन का फ्लो कम होगा यूरिन एक्सेसिव होगा 
लो रेस्पिरेटरी यू नो नो कि कफिंग होगा कफिंग के साथ प्रोंकाइटिस में यू विल फील द प्रोंकाइज इन द चेस्ट ड्राई कफिंग है उसके साथ भी बुखार आ सकता है दैट इज लो रेस्पिरेटरी अफेक्शन दैट्स इट गाइस खत्म फीवर इतने ही फीवर आते हैं जनरल प्रैक्टिस में 